Tensions between the U.S. and China is not stopping America from being considered a favored destination by Chinese citizens. New data reveals that in the last one year alone, illegal immigration by Chinese people to the United States has increased 10 times. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection says over 37,000 Chinese illegal immigrants were detained at the U.S. border through Mexico last year. It added that Chinese migrants are the fastest growing group behind the migrant influx at the southern border in 2023. The journey taken by Chinese migrants is not an easy one. They fly to Ecuador, then travel by foot, boat and bus through South and Central America to the U.S.-Mexico border. However, Chinese migrants make up only 1.5% of the 2.5 million immigrants encountered by border officials in 2023. Media reports say that several Chinese migrants make the long journey to escape China's authoritarian government and slow economy. The other segment is Chinese students, for whom U.S. universities are their top destination. Asians are the fastest growing racial or ethnic group in the United States. One of the largest within the group is the 5 million people of Chinese origin living in the United States. Meanwhile, the U.S. state of Florida has banned citizens from China and elsewhere and other U.S. adversary countries from purchasing properties. It has also prohibited universities within the state from partnering with China and other nations labeled as foreign country of concern. Okay, for more on this, we are now being joined by our guest, Greg Swenson, international affairs expert. He's joining us live from London right now. Greg, thank you so much for coming back to WeOn and good to see you. Thanks, Susan. There is a growing concern about national security threats with these Chinese individuals coming into the United States. Most of them are single male military age. Some believe that they're coming for the uh, elusive American dream. Others are extremely concerned that they're tied to the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party. Americans themselves are facing a cost of living squeeze on the one hand. These migrants are coming on the other. Uh, how do you look at this? Yeah, it's a it's a really big issue, Susan. And, and I think there's some legitimacy to that that concern that these uh, individuals coming from China are either involved with the CCP or they're bringing fentanyl. There were 28,000 pounds of fentanyl caught at the border last year. And, and you know, that's that's just what was caught. So, you know, th these are legitimate concerns. If they, you know, the, the, the United States welcomes legal immigrants. We, we love Chinese immigrants. They're productive, they're, they're great people. But I think that the, the concern is quite uh, quite legit that that coming illegally is never a good thing, and the border is completely out of hand. It's turned into a, a humanitarian crisis, and and there is uh, there is much concern from 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 a lot of the former FBI and other intelligence officials uh, about the uh, the Chinese immigration coming through Ecuador and Mexico. And can you talk a little bit about the underground industry and helping migrants free, flee China to the United States? We do know that ultimately it's these cartels that are winning uh, on yeah. the border, but then this really long travel from China to the United States. It, it's a really difficult journey, that's for sure. Um, and all the migrants that are coming from, from the Triangle in, in uh, Central America, from Honduras and Ecuador, it's a really difficult journey. The, the border has basically been turned over by the Biden administration to the human traffickers, to the drug cartels and the human trafficking cartels. So it's really a humanitarian crisis. It's sad to see. And many of these people are victims of of much abuse, including the human trafficking. So, you know, it's, it's not that I, I mean, I feel sorry for the victims, but that but by opening the border and announcing to the world that the border was open, which is what Biden did in 2021, even before he took office, the, the migrant, the migrants started moving north toward the border as soon as he won the election. So, you know, this is a complete humanitarian disaster. You know, we had uh, averaging 40,000 or so illegal migrants crossing the border per month in the nine years before Biden took office. Since he took office, it's gone up to 200,000 a month on average over the last three years. But it's, it was over 300,000 uh, just in December of 23, if only a few months ago. So, you know, look, there, there's so much that can go wrong here. You've had 170 illegal migrants <laughs> were found to be on the terrorist watch list. You had 35,000 with criminal records, 500 and almost 600 known gang members. So and then I mentioned the fentanyl earlier, that's mostly coming from China. So there's every reason to think 
that uh, that that fentanyl's coming through these Chinese illegal migrants. And, and sometimes it just gets to the border and any migrant can take it, take it over the border. So, you know, these are real issues. And that's this is why my illegal migration or the, specifically the open border from the Biden administration is the number one issue for American voters, not just in border states, but recently with the elections in New Hampshire and Iowa, you saw it uh, elevate to, to the number one issue, sometimes number two to the economy. So this idea from the open border left that more is better and less is racist is just not only wrong, but it's really immoral for what what's happening uh, with, with the, the migrants and the human traffickers at the border. Yeah, I mean, not surprisingly, every state is a border state at this point. As you mentioned, it's not just yeah. Texas and those states around uh, the southern border. Greg Swenson, thank you so much for joining us on Thanks, Beyond Susan. this morning and for that thorough analysis. I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. You too. Thanks again.